So in this video, we're going to try and sum up all the terms in this series from 1, from the first term, all the way to infinity. So when n equals 1, put it into here, put it into here. Yeah, when n equals 1, this whole thing here will become a half. When n equals 2, when n equals 2, put it into here, put it into here. This whole thing here will then give you this. When n equals 3, it will give you this. When n equals 4, it will give you this, and so on. How would you go about summing up all the terms from the first term all the way to infinity. How would you go about summing up, um, summing up all the terms? Um, well, to to do to to um, to do this, rewrite this as one as one fraction multiplying another fraction. So uh, so rewrite this as this. Rewrite it as uh, as one fraction multiplying another fraction. So the clever part is uh, is to rewrite this to uh, in in this form. Because if, if I were to give you this, this, take away this, if I were to ask you to merge these two fractions together, you would times top and bottom here by n plus 1. n plus 1. And then you would multiply top and bottom here by n, by n. So this thing here would be n plus 1 over n, bra uh, n plus 1. And then this thing here would be take away uh, n over n, n plus 1. And then the uh, and then these two will cancel each other out. The, the the point here is that you can rewrite this in uh, in this form. That this this is a clever part. To the, the clever part is to rewrite this as this. So uh, so so we are we are summing uh, from the first term all the way to infinity. So let's let's just say let's just say this when n equals one. This whole part here is this thing here. Uh, when n equals two. This whole thing here will be this thing here. When n equals three, it will be this here. Uh, when n equals four, uh, this whole thing here will be this. When n equals five, uh, this whole thing here will be this. Will be whatever, and then plus blah 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 all the way to all the way to infinity. We we are trying to sum up from the fir very first one all the way to infinity. We are trying to sum up from the very first one all the way to infinity. But rather than summing up all the way to infinity, the technique that we're going to use is to sum sum it up from the first term all the way to an arbitrary to an arbitrary term. Let's say k. We're going to sum it up from the first term all the way to k, and then later on we're going to take the limit as k tends to infinity. So currently we are here at the moment. So uh, so rather than summing up from from the first term all the way to um, to infinity, we are good, we are just going to sum it up from uh, from the first term to an arbitrary term. It could be anything. Let's just call it k, and then later on we take the limit as k tends to infinity. So uh, we are going to sum it up from the first term to an arbitrary uh, term k. So uh, so when when n equals one, put it into here, put it into here. What sorry? When n equals one, put it into here. This thing here will be a half. When n equals 1, put it into here, this thing here will be a half. So when n equals 1, this whole thing here will then give you this. When n equals 2, uh, this whole thing here will be this. When n equals 3, uh, this whole thing here will be this, and so on. But uh, until the very last one will be uh, up to our arbitrary term, k. So, so the very last one will be this term here. Remember, we are not summing up from 0 to infinity. We are summing up from 0 to, uh, to k, and then later on we can take the limits as k tends to infinity. So, summing up uh, from, from the first term to k, that would then give us this. So now if you look at this here, this fraction will get cancelled out, these two will cancel each other out, and then this one here will cancel, cancel out with this one, and this one here will cancel out with, with this next term, and then the, this one here will cancel out, out with the, uh, the previous one. So, so as, so as it turns out, all that you're left with is this thing, and then, uh, and then this thing here. So, so when you sum it up from one to an arbitrary term, k, it will give you this. Okay, so when you sum it up, uh, from, from one to an arbitrary point, to an arbitrary term, k, it will give you this. So what we've got so far is that um, if you try and sum up uh, what we were trying to seek out right from the start, uh, from the first term all the way to infinity, uh, sorry, 
all the way to to hang on all the way to let me change this should be k all the way to k so if, if you try and sum it up from uh, from the first term from the first term all the way to k it will then give you this it will get, then give you this so now if you if you take the limit of this as k tends to infinity then this whole thing here will then become this it's no long we are no longer summing from 1 to k we are now summing from from 1 to infinity so when you take the limit as k tends to infinity this thing here will then become this uh will then become sorry um will then become this hang on uh, sorry bear with me forgive me so uh so this will then hang on bear with me bear with me bear with me uh bear with me bear with me bear with me bear with me uh, I, I could have just written it bear with me bear with me hang on Merge down okay so um so well sorry about that so so when when you um well where were we when when we when um when you're when you're summing up from um but yeah so when, when when you take the limit of this side here when you take the limit as k tends to infinity um this this thing here will then become this uh and then uh, and then on this side here it then becomes this so now now as n as k tends to infinity this this is going to be very very large so one divided by very very large this thing here is going to go to zero when n tends to infinity this whole thing here will be one so as as um uh, so so when you sum it from one to infinity it will give you one so your final answer is uh, is one okay